Hello and welcome to the Cole Messer here in Cologne. It's Saturday of Gamescom 2011 and Sean and I are rather bravely, I think, attempting to do a whole, a whole tour of Hall 8 here. That's right, guy. You know, the show's been up open to the public since Thursday, but today is Saturday and it's the weekend when things really start to go insane. You start to see people with bandanas over their faces who really creep you out. But anyways, let's go take a look at Hall 8 see what's going on. Uh, pray for us. All right, so we'll kick things off on the Nintendo stand here in Hall 8. Nint uh, Nintendo's got a big presence here. Sean, what are you seeing? What's the stand now? Well, I am seeing one notable absence, and that is Zero Wii U. They had a ton of them at their booth at E3, and I realized that was an industry-only event, and this is a public event, but still, a little Wii U would have been nice, right? Germany, no Wii U for you. Nine a Wii U. Nine a Wii U. Uh, so, so they've got the standard Wii, but they haven't got the recently announced redesigned Wii. Standard Wii, but there's not that many upcoming Wii titles because there's not that many upcoming Wii <laughs> titles. So you've got Zelda. I think that's the only one I can see. They do have some Nintendo 3DS games. They have the uh, the new Super Mario game. They've got the new Mario Kart game and a few others over there. But overall, the Wii U or the Wii booth, I should say. A little bit tame. A little bit tame. Although they do have Xenoblade Chronicles, which we just reviewed yesterday at 9.0. So that is worth checking out if you're down at Gamescom today. And if you live in Europe, because it's not coming to North America anytime <laughs> soon. Let's keep it going. All right, time for Microsoft now at Gamescom. We're, uh, we're on the booth here. And I think if anyone remembers it last year, it's exactly the same layout. That's right, guy, except for one notable difference. Do you see sad Marcus Phoenix over there? Sad, scary Marcus Phoenix that looks nothing like Marcus Phoenix. Amazing. It, it's almost as if they got a Marcus Phoenix from like a budget wax museum and left him out in the sun for like two more days than they should have. He's a little bit melty. Uh, one of the other cool things about this booth is that they've got one of the new BMW M5s over by Forza 4. This is a car that's debuting in Forza 4. You cannot go out and buy one of these. You're going to be able to play it in the game before you actually see it on the road, which is pretty cool. Maybe that's where the budget went then. No, 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 no money left for Marcus Phoenix all on BMW this year. Exactly, but there is a lot of Kinect stuff, which is fairly predictable, right? Yep, so they got uh, pretty much the first thing you see if you're coming in is Dan Central 2. Again, I think they had Dan Central here last time. And um, yeah, over here you've got Connect pods, basically open spaces where people can see you, ogle at you, embarrassing yourself on Connect. So it's good, it's all good. Exactly, let's go see what else is out there. All right, Warner Brothers time now. Uh, you've just seen a Scarecrow, Sean. I've just seen a pretty awesome female Scarecrow cosplayer. Might be the best cosplay I've seen so far today. It was pretty awesome. And also this cosplay right here, which I guess technically not a cosplay, just a mannequin, just a mannequin. It's Batman with a very small head, yes. very small head. Uh, so Arkham City, obviously the highlight here. They've also got um, Once Upon a Monster yep. and also uh, Gotham City Imposters. And they've also got Lord of the Rings War in the North, uh, which is cool, but even cooler, the uruk fighting a dwarf statue set right in front of it, which is pretty neat. Excellent. All right, time to move on. All right, now here we are in front of the Joe Danger booth. Guy, you've seen Joe Danger, right? I've seen Joe Danger. It's from an indie developer in the UK. Basically, it's the follow-up to the PlayStation 3 game. It's Joe Danger, um, the movies, or in Hollywood, the movie, the movie is called. And basically, um, he is he's not on a bike anymore. He's doing, like, classic. Uh, so you can see behind me the Indiana Jones chase. Uh, he's doing, like, the James Bond ski chase and stuff. I was pretty impressed. It looks pretty good. All right, cool. We've also got this guy standing in our shot right here who thinks he's about to be interviewed, and we're about to break his heart. Let's keep going. Now here we are at the Art of Games booth here in the corner of Hall 8, Guy, where clearly the term art is a little bit subjective. We've got a lovely Alice in Wonderland picture right behind us, but a little over there is what now? I like to call this piece a uh, tree, giant tree with man kneeling down in front of it. It's not clear what it's from. If you know what it's from, let us know in the comments. And also the inspiring, thought-provoking, beautiful cover art from Battlefield 3, which is also in the Art of Games booth, because why not? Stretching the term art, I feel. But, you know, we're at Gamescom. Why not have a bit of artistic influence and have a, take five minutes out to get some culture, you know? I feel cultured already.
Uh, guy, I'm not, I'm, so I'm not sure what exactly is going on here. Uh, do you know? Well, it's a fun ride. You basically go up and down, and then probably up and down again, and then you stop. You stop. You stop that. You done. You just stay up for a while. You stay up for forever for the rest of the day. Anyways, I guess there is other stuff to do uh, at this fun park outside of Hall Eight besides just stay in the sky forever, right? Yeah, we've got the annoyingly named for me anyway, uh, soccer basket game here, which is uh, which is all good. Maybe we'll see that in FIFA Street. And then we've also got uh, motorbikes over here, which looks exciting. I want to go on the motorbikes. Me, definitely, too. Also, uh, I would like to go on the tiny little baby motorbike, which looks pretty fun. They've also got a ramp down there that you can sort of, like, snowboard down. They've got uh, military barracks for some reason, and also uh, a really cool van. So, yeah, the fun park outside of Hall 8. Yeah, I mean, it's too much exercise for me, though. I think we should uh, get back inside, get out of the sun, and uh, play some more games. All right, let's do it.